Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to wire a thermal pile into a millivolt gas valve. So this is a 750 millivolt thermal pile, or otherwise known as a power pile, and we're wiring that into a gas valve that has a pilot solenoid valve as well as a main burner solenoid valve. So this gas valve is not powered with any AC voltage. We're just using the millivolts generated at the thermal pile due to the pilot flame heat, and that's enough voltage to hold open the pilot solenoid as well as to power the main gas valve solenoid. So you see we have our thermal pile actually wired into the gas valve and it's wired into the pilot solenoid valve. So we have our power coming into the THTP on the red wire right here and that gets connected to this wire and it runs over to the pilot solenoid and it finds its way back through the TP. So we're powering the solenoid valve anytime we have the flame lit. The main burner is powered anytime we use this as a junction point. We go from here through a thermostat, which is normally open, and then it closes on a call for heat and then ends up powering the TH. It ends up going through the solenoid and finding its way back through this TP, and that's how it powers the main burner. So now I'm going to go ahead and light the pilot so that you can see how this works as well. If you are looking for a troubleshooting video on the thermopile and millivolt gas valve, I have that link down in the description section below. So now we have our thermostat wired in for our main gas valve. So we have our THTP connected to our R and this thermostat is normally open. And then we have our W connected over to the TH and on a call for heat, this will close allowing our millivolt power over to our TH in order to power the main gas valve. Now it's important to use a, a thermostat that's rated for 750 millivolts because the connection has to be very tight. So it can't have any resistance, otherwise you're gonna lose your millivolts and you may not have enough to power the main gas valve. So in order to turn your pilot on, we're gonna turn this button uh, over to the pilot and have that lined up right there. Then we're gonna press down on that. And typically you're gonna hold that button down for about 45 seconds but it may not take that long in order for the thermal pile to heat up in order to generate enough millivolts to keep the solenoid held up in place. So then we turn this knob over to the on position. Now on a call for heat, our thermostat will close and our main burner will turn on. So that's how you do it. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.